Um, I'm currently in Skyloft, but you can do this in either of the Windows Mixed Reality environments. So, as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see. Here, I'm going to put my controller on the floor. And from what you can see, it looks like my floor is about a foot off of where the VR floor is. So we hit our Windows button. We pull up. You'll probably see this. Hit the down arrow. Pull up the floor button. The floor calibrating app will pop up. You can put this anywhere you want, by the way, and pin it, close it, throw it up there. It doesn't matter. Anyway, point at it, click, and it'll teleport you into the floor calibration app thing. So if the floor looks off, move it with the touchpad. My favorite way to do this is I'll actually get on the floor and I'll put one of my controllers down and then you push up on the touchpad or down, depending on where your floor actually is, until it looks like your controller is sitting flat on the ground. One more click and boom. Now my floor is set correctly in the real world and in VR. So now you should get less motion sickness. I'm, when I say you, I'm specifically talking to the, a buddy of mine, and your daughter should get less motion sickness too. I realized your floor was probably setting correctly when you told me your daughter was getting motion sick. A seven-year-old, if everything is calibrated correctly, will get VR legs very, very fast. Like if you're that young, you can adapt to VR super quick. Anyway, this will fix your floor. You may have to do this every so often. Um, this will boot you out of whatever game you're playing. So when you go back after you hit that thing, if you paused Steam VR or whatever, you'll find that it will throw you out of Steam VR. But that's okay. Look at that. We've got floor. That's mostly the proper height. I think it wants me to stand on this. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty proper height. Come over here. That's reasonably proper height. And now I can walk around. I don't have boundaries, so I might run into something. Um, oh, and on the new Windows Insider ring, by the way, I'm going to show this off. If you hold the Windows button and hit the grip, come on, do it. You now have flashlight, and I can look into my, my real world here and uh, see if I'm going to kick a cat or not. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Um, it should improve your gameplay. Now you'll actually be able to go prone if you're playing standout seated. Um, yeah, yeah, this, is, this will be useful, and I think it'll change the game for you. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I hope that's been helpful. I'm the Pedantic Raver. Uh, Raver. I've got about 600 hours in VR now. Uh, I stream live on Twitch. Every so often I put up a tutorial video on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe, and I'll keep making more. Thanks, guys.